Hey folks, Eric Wooldridge with the Additive Guru channel. I want to show you real quick uh, a situation that we run into periodically when we use the move tool to move geometry together in Fusion 360. So what I have here created are a cylinder in a cube or a cylinder rectangular object and I'm going to use my move tool to move the solid from its current location and we'll slide it over and we'll place it inside the cylinder. And you can see it closely there that it's inside it. But let's say that I want to add a fillet right here to kind of fill it out this edge and smooth the connection so I don't have any sharp edges. That's one of the things you want to watch out for in design is uh, stress concentrates around sharp edges. So sharp corners are a bad thing when it comes, into, when it comes to engineering performance. So to avoid this, I'll switch over to the fillet tool, but you'll notice that I'm not actually able to hit any of the intersection points between the cylinder and the rectangle. As a result, I need to find a way to solve that problem because I can't do a fillet until these two things acknowledge that each other exist. So to solve the problem, I'm going to use the combine tool to now combine these two solids together and therefore it'll allow the fillet to work. You'll notice that when you look at my expansion of your under bodies, you've got body one, body two, they are two separate solid objects. So I'm going to go to modify and go to combine select, I can select it here and here. They're both highlighted or I could have clicked on both of them. I switch it to join as you see over here. I could have also selected it like this, selected one, selected the other, actually, sorry, target body, select, and then select this one. There we go, tool bodies. Join and hit okay. And now you notice that the back end of the rectangular block is no longer visible. And if I click on the fillet tool, it now acknowledges that surface, that surface, that one, the one down below as well. And now I can do a fillet of such and such size. Maybe a five here. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll make it a big one. All the way to the edge. And there we go. This actually will allow us to reduce the concentrate, concentrate, concentrated stresses. Sorry about that. Concentrated stresses right there on the object and to avoid the sharp corners. So that's a little something to watch out for in design is like whenever you have protrusions from other objects you don't want sharp edges because that just makes it points of high points of stress. So anyway that's a quick use of the combine tool to merge two objects together. Uh, we do that a lot where we'll design one feature in one place and another feature and then we'll use the move tool to move them together to simplify our process for design and uh, we have to use to combine at the end. Now we do recommend not doing the combine until you're at the very end of the project so it doesn't get in the way in terms of your timeline in the middle. So save it to the end and that's usually when we do a lot of our filleting and smoothing out anyway. All right, so handy little tip that we found pretty useful is the combine tool to add those features in. Of course, this also works for chamfer once the objects are combined as well. Hopefully that you find that useful. Check out some of our other videos and we'll see you later.